it's a lot of work. I'm going to show you all the tools of the trade. But more than anything, what I want to say is that if you don't know what you're doing, this is not the job for you, okay? I'm more support at best. What's up, beautiful people? And welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't Keep Up With The, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't Keep Up With The, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Boom! What's up, beautiful people? It's me, Rick and Jones G, and I'm excited. Because one, I'm in the backyard, but then two, I get to get you along for this vlog, this video, maybe a how-to, we'll figure it out. But ultimately, I am taking this back gate that is behind me, and I'm going to replace it with a wood fence all the way here, which I believe is 70 feet long. And so what I have are some snippers, I have a shovel, and I'm about to make this thing happen, okay? What you see will no longer be, and it's going to be nice and pretty. Oh my God, did that boy just run? But nonetheless, <laughs> if y'all new to the channel, it'd be good if you would hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up because uh, I'm going to take you along my journeys in life more than anything. And along the way, you'll get some uh, how-to videos and some maybe don't do's, okay? But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get to it. And uh, it's going to be some fun in between because I have some help coming to put the wood fence up. I'm not doing it myself. And so that's going to be hilarious. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and clear out some of this stuff first so I can get to the fence. And then we're going to take the fence out. So clean up first. <laughs> Jesus, you ever get to a point in a project where you look and think to yourself, did I bite off more than I can chew? I've been there about 16 times already, okay? And it's, I don't know, I guess I've been out here for an hour now, and I've only gotten this much of it taken away, which is not much at all. Oh, that much, see? I can't even, I'm just so discombobulated and disoriented. But anyway, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna tell y'all the part that is the most challenging that I didn't even consider that you may want to consider if this is a project that you do. Let me get back to it, y'all. Oh, great people. I've actually done probably a quarter of it, 
close to half however one of the main things in life is about to rain so I want to go ahead and do this part however one of the main things I did not consider is that the chain link fence started to root down in the ground along with the plants and things and the main thing that I'm struggling with is pulling the fence out of the roots okay and so consider that when you are doing this how deep your chain link fence is in the ground did not even think about that obviously it's my first time doing this and so i'm telling you this so you can consider it as you are doing your fence okay or more than anything you just watch it be do mine but nonetheless i have done this much so far i have another half to do and um we'll be done jesus christ i'm a, i allowed it two days praise god that i did because it's a lot harder than i expected it to be however we will get it done okay so make sure y'all stay tuned so you can see this finished product because a fence like this is gonna go on the back and we're gonna be happy with that all right great people so let me keep going y'all oh <laughs> great people so it's actually day i think it's three or four of us on this fence well i say us because you'll see why but nonetheless this is where we are. We are down to one panel at this point. And I must say, I did not um, video the in-betweens because it's a lot of work. I'm gonna show y'all the tools of the trade, but more than anything, what I wanna say is that if you don't know what you're doing, this is not the job for you, okay? I'm more support at best, okay? I, I throw in a couple jokes, try to make things light, but uh, I can't say that I worked on this. I was on the back of somebody that knew what they're doing. And I said it to say, if this is a DIY project that you are going for, make sure you have somebody that can do it because they've done it before, okay? But uh, this is what it is, this is what it takes, great people. And as you can see along the bottom there, we do have some gaps largely because along the bottom of the ground, it does slope because there's like a retention water situation or sewer or whatever. And so you that's why you see this opening right here, but it does level out where the ground does level out. And so putting those poles in there, putting the board up there, like it's, it's no small task, but it can be done again if you know if you have somebody that knows what they're doing. And here's my somebody. That's the honorable Mr. Frankie, okay? See like this. This this is what it takes, great people. You gotta go in there at least two feet. Uh this is the main tool. You have to have this tool. And what he did, which was very smart, is that he spray painted at two feet so he knew as he was digging the holes where he was along the two feet plane scenario. But these are your uh, four by four by eights or four by four by tens. And then of course your uh, wood paneling and all that good stuff. But it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a lot of work. You got to have the nails, got to have a screwdriver. He climbed me on my screwdriver, but shouts out to Ryobli, it, it works for me. And uh, um, you know what I'm saying? You, that's how you get it done. But this is what it looks like. I'm satisfied, I'm happy. Say it's a lot of work. Don't do this job if you don't want to put in the work because the work is necessary for completion. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and help finish because I do help like just hold it and screw it. And so I could do that and then uh, I'll show y'all the finished product. <laughs> Boom, and just like that, great people, we have it all finished, finito and done. This is an extra one that we use actually to do a cut to get into that corner. So I'm gonna leave that here for the next homeowner. But anyway, this is what it looks like nice and straight in the backyard leaving it nice and secure, okay? Well, private. you have privacy. That's what you have is privacy. Anyway, I like it, I like it. I wish, again, I had done this. I was living in a home so I can enjoy it myself. However, I do believe it is best to leave something better than the way you have received it for the next person with the idea that you want people to do things to you as you have done to them. So here it is, great people. This is how you do it. You have to dig two feet deep each hole as you are putting your four by four by eight uh posts into the ground sometimes four by four by ten we've had three of those but anyway all that to say you have to get it make sure it's nice and secure either you can use concrete or the dirt and just make sure you pack it in okay and so with that being said it is nice and secure everything is where it needs to be and i know the homeowners to come are going to be pleased and elated with the outcome of the fence because i know i am and so it's representative of the rest of the house but anyway great people if you have any questions definitely let me know in the comment section below i can definitely talk you through what was done i ever know that it is hard work okay i'm not gonna sugarcoat it or put it any way other than the truth hard work hard work hard work however after four days this is the result so with that being said great people i love you all i appreciate you all until the next video peace <laughs>